the back air, she, she just catches your air dodge. And this Jen's just so good at that particularly. Um, but FD, I think pretty solid stage for both players. Wow, the evasion from both players right now. I King Arc managed to avoid so much of those hitboxes, but in the end, all you need to do is get caught by one. That neutral air led to so much damage. And this is where we're kind of seeing the rough nature of the matchup. The reward that each of these characters get is it's not really equivalent. Yeah, another key thing we saw was um, King Arc tried to leaf shield, but Palutena's Nair just eats that leaf shield up. Um, which is super crucial because that's one of Mega Man's biggest options when it comes to disadvantage and just getting off me in general. I love that cross up, really committed to it also. Just had to fully drift in order to end up behind him, but it paid off. And let's see if he can get a stock here. Oh, goes for that big down air, can't get the two frame. And now, oh, I thought Jen was gonna do yeah. something cute. Um, now he's the one who's put on the ledge off stage. Uh, yeah. I love his recoveries, though. His disadvantage so far has been so good. Yeah, it's like, especially on stage like FD, Mega Man, it's going to be so hard to land and just get back into neutral. But King Ark's been doing such a good job doing like unique mix-ups and stuff, like crossing up and utilizing Ooh. the jump. Ooh. Back here, though, finally finding its mark. Like, that's one of the things Palutena just has so many kill options available to her once she reaches a, cer reaches a certain threshold. It's almost impossible to play around all of them. Oh, it instantly exploded. I'm not quite sure what happened there. But, um, yeah, that's the thing is in this matchup, Mega Man, you know, you have to kind of find something a little cheeky to end out stocks unless you get a hard read. That, that, that okay, that, that, uh, Crash Bomb replacement was immaculate. Yeah, that was <laughs> massive green. Well, but King Ark has to end this stock pretty soon. Oh, actually, the... The explosion caught him in the tube. Yeah, frame. if he released that earlier, that was gonna be a really clean stock. Not closing it Oh out. no, that could be big. Jen finally gets some stage control, and we've seen what he's capable of doing. But King Ark again, his disadvantage has just been so good. Yeah, he hit him with the same thing he did last time. I wonder if Jen's gonna start adapting to that, and maybe dashing back. I know. think he will. Yeah. Jen is he's a really smart player, really good at adapting, and so King Ark is gonna have to have other bags up his sleeve. Not just tricks in a bag, entire bags up his sleeve if he wants to win this. Saved it. Yeah, and this is the thing is, once Palutena gets in a lead, it's like... <gasps> oh, oh no, really, an, he's doing so many creative and cheeky things off stage. Eventually, it just kind of backfired on him. Clean Over spot died tree. I wonder if that could have been an up tilt. Um, I've seen a lot of Mega Man's go for stuff like just that. just low profile to, to yeah. Metal Blade. I, okay, he actually seems to have changed up tactics. Right now, King Ark is really in his face, which is, I mean, I commend the bravery for it, but that risk is really, I mean, you have to understand that one hit from Jen, one stray neutral air could lead to tons of damage, and I think that's probably why he's taken 75% when I yeah. wasn't even noticing. It, as soon as he said that, Palutena just hit him with the shield like three times with back air, dash attack back air. Let's see if he can complete this ledge trap. No, Jen turns it around on him, able to avoid the explosive flame, but ooh, I, he's going for these crazy risky plays off stage. For the most part, like, Jen has not been able to contest that. So yeah. I guess they're the right call. You kind of have to in a matchup like this, especially against someone as good as Jen. If you just do a really generic recovery, you're probably going to get blown up for it. Oh, back throw might not quite enough yeah. to do it just yet, but another one of those back throws will probably be the end of it. Really smart by King Arc there. Um, we saw him do that earlier where he back on stage, but right there he mixed it up and just air dodged to the ledge and managed to get back on. Oh, he is alive. 142% though, and Palutena can end things with a back throw just like that. So, the thing about King Ark, and you can see it, he had this fight in him to the very end. Jen respawned, and immediately he's like 40% combo. And I, <laughs> I was half convinced that, you know, in that little vacuum, that microcosm, that he was going to win the game. Like, his, his fury, once he gets that single hit, and he's just never gives up, and I, you have to respect that. But he's up against Jen, and 
Jin doesn't need to worry about giving up. He's just in control the entire time, it feels. Yeah, King Ark's really got to make sure that when he has a lead in this matchup, he holds on to it. Because right there, we saw the game start off pretty even. But once Jen took the first dock, King Ark was just always playing from behind in an uphill battle. And he's going to... Oh, oh, wow. That was so cool. That was super good coverage on the part of Jen. And now he's managed to do 85%. And like it's, this is the thing about Palutena is that she has... Like, every percent threshold you reach, another kill option becomes available to you, you know? Like, back air. Yeah. I was going to say, down throw back air might be one of those newfound killed options, and it was. Ooh. <gasps> wow. Was, and he, I like that from Jen. He was perfectly aware that he was just dead and doesn't waste any time, goes right into the blast zone. And because of that, he actually had total stage control. Yeah, that was... He came from the Halo platform, and uh, yeah, King, King Ark, Ark thought he recovering. had to double tap. King Ark thought he had to make sure that uh, he wouldn't come back, and instead just comes back from the, uh, from the Halo platform instead. Yeah, but what looked like a really rough start for King Ark, now it turned to an even game after that super smart edge guard. You really just can't use Leaf Shield in this matchup, though. But seeing more forward air from King Ark actually trying to interrupt like there's this zone that when Palutena goes in and she hasn't yet she's yet to throw out a move, it seems like that's the perfect time for King Ark to throw out the uh, that yeah. forward air. He's caught him with it quite a few times. Yeah. Also, back air just in general, a more aerial based game seems to be going on right now for King Ark. He knows that Palutena just can mix him up. Oh. On the forward air isn't enough to end his life just yeah. yet, but 151. Did he air dodge before? Why? I'm not sure. Not he not. might have, or he might have just thought he would make it back and wasn't really prepared to not. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but either way, that's the second SD he's had. And both of those SDs came at really critical junctures. He had a read this, on that. It's the same situation we saw game one. Jen has this lead. It's a stock lead, and that means that he can play to it. And look at that it's one so hit, and damage. it leads to all of this percent. It's a bomber, too, because he actually had a read on Jen teleporting to stage, but flubbed it, and that would have evened up the stock. And now it's looking like he might get too stocked if Jen keeps up this momentum. Never mind. Jen almost got that parry. Parry the first hit, but that is a multi hit move. <gasps> That is like the second time he's gotten hit by that. <laughs> he by his own crash bomber while he's like rolling up from ledge. Is that game? That is game. Yeah, it is. And that's why a lot of the pretty much the entire set he was doing a lot of these the air dodges to ledge. I think specifically to try and avoid that. But I guess near the end he was going for the mix-up up. Now I'm just gonna go straight there and Jen his timing with it is so good. Just gets down tilt back air and like that cleans up the set. Uh, I think next, actually, we can already talk about the next game oh. we're going to have is going to be Vivi versus Bankai. Pokemon battle. Yeah, um, this seems really rough for uh, Lucario right off the bat, assuming Vivi does go Lucario. I know he also has Incineroar. Um, but Lucario particularly, Charizard and Ivysaur can close out stocks so early. It might be hard for him to get that aura going because like, Vivi gets grabbed at like 70 on the ledge. That's it. Yeah, not only that, but like Ivysaur can kind of play to that, you know? If he gets the if he gets uh, uh, Lucario to that down throw up B percent, he could just chill. He could be like, all right, I'm going to get a grab. Down throw up B. Not really going to do much else. Unless you really, you really want to get hit, in which case, fine, I'll hit you. Yeah, it reminds me of um, a bit of DK in Smash 4. Everyone, once you were in, once DK had the opponent ding dong percent, he purposely did not hit him until he got that grab because he just knew that it, it was optimal for getting the kill to actually do less percent in this situation. So a similar idea. Yeah, I would say that on the whole though, Pokemon Trainer has a more dynamic kill power. It's not, they're not just a gimmick of Ivy Sword Town Throw up B. Yeah. There's so many ways that they can engineer a stock between Ivy Sword having up air, down air, up B, forward smash, mm -hmm. uh, to Charizard having back air, forward air, up air, up smash, Even up Ivy, throw. up throw. I forgot about the back throw from Ivy Sword, man. So many kill options. And even Squirtle can sometimes do like F tilt, jab lock, F smash if you mix them up. Um, 
that's that's nah, also man. Nah, man. the 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 uh the forward air forward air forward air up B off stage. 